Well, truthfully, having read them both, mm -hmm. Lestat really is a better vampire than ever. Called. I don't really understand how you can somehow. Oh! Oh! oh, oh hi! 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 Hello. Hi! Hi! hi. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Yeah. <laughs> cut. Cut. <laughs> okay. Anyways, hello and welcome to Quit Being a Hooker Hooker. We are here today in the lovely home of LJNDawson.com. Woo! So LJN Dawson got so LJNDawson.com. I got a question for you, and the first question is whose parents named them a dot com? Really? <laughs> they were ahead of their time. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> apparently. I mean I've never said do you actually have a real name? No. Oh, it's okay. just ljandawson.com. Yes. Okay, because this is how we all know you. This is, <laughs> so obviously, as we're here with um, ljandawson.com, we're here to talk about EPUB, you know, ebooks, and no, Mike Kane is not going to make a guest appearance. <laughs> Today. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's Mike Kane. Call us. Call us Mike Kane. <laughs> it's okay. So my first question for you is, could you just give us an overview of EPUB and how it works? Sure. Um, EPUB is an XML format. Um, it's it's actually three um, formats that are packaged together. So it's it's um, essentially just a zip file of three different files that are XML. Um, and so one of them is the body of the work itself. The other is the metadata about the work, and then a third has uh, more to do with rights, um, which of course you know um, brings in a lot of DRM issues. Um, Adobe assigns a lot of DRM to their EPUB files, um, so people don't always like to use Adobe files. Um, <coughs> however, uh, straight EPUB files are difficult because if you don't um, have DRM, then there can be sharing, there can be stealing, <coughs> etc. Um, there's also the problem of um, when do you generate an EPUB file? Because within the workflow of a publisher, if you're not generating um, XML from the get-go, then you've got to turn around and convert all of your Word files to XML. Mm -hmm. And e EPUB mm -hmm. being a form of XML, you've got to decide, do you want it to be native EPUB, do you want it to be generic mm -hmm. XML? Mm -hmm. It's, you know, it's, yeah. it's a huge deal. It's a really huge deal. So speaking of native EPUB, I mean, that's, that's an island, right? <laughs> EPUB, right? There is no such thing as native EPUB. Really? Yes. EPUB. <laughs> oh, I was unaware. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> EPUB is an open standard. By the way, if anybody hasn't noticed, it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I'm happy to help one of them. Well, look at this as an educational opportunity. Edu well, we're all always. about education. Always. <laughs> Here is, you know. We're trying to educate the hookers about not being hookers. I mean, so, you know. So, no, okay. <laughs> Ongoing, ongoing, mm -hmm. right? So here's my first question for you. So everyone right now is saying that print is dead or, you know, dying. But mm -hmm. my question for you is, how dead is it? <laughs> I'd say um, it's not even on life support yet. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's walking around. But they've used the defibrillators, like, a couple of times. They've been yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, the, yeah. the clear uh, and yeah. the, like, the, uh -huh. you know. But, it, yeah, but it, it's, it's, it's doing okay. It'll, it has a few more years to live mm, in. Interesting, yeah. interesting. But, you know, but then XML's going to, like, kick its ass and, you know, it's going to be. Eventually, but there will always be people who like to read on paper. No. Oh. They're just the old. People who like to read on paper. <laughs> Well, my grandmother likes to read I, on paper, exactly but, you know. Speaking yeah. of your grandmother. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of your grandmother. Yes, yes, yes. Speaking of your grandmother. So, so apparently, his grandmother wants to start a blog. You got any tips? You, you got any blogs? Absolutely. You, you got any blogging tips for Brett's dead grandmother? <laughs> First of all, don't be dead. Oh, okay. That's, you know, that's a deal breaker. Okay. Um, second of all, um, a blog is, is not a website. A blog is not a portal. A blog is not a... Um, uh, uh, e-commerce site. Interestingly <laughs> enough, I think I read this on the Blogopedia Twitter feed last night. Yes, in fact, you did. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> you're just regurgitating <laughs> stuff. We asked you for native content here. No, 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 what no, you no, doing? No, no, no. It's repurposable. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Well, so are you <laughs> joking? <laughs> oh my god, she's yes, joking the content. <laughs> She's joking her content. We just want to say Laura Dawson's content that comes out of her mouth is XML. It's repurposable. It's chunkable. You can put it in any format you want. You can subscribe to an RSS feed of Laura Dawson just by being in her presence. Exactly. It's oh, an amazing, funny. amazing thing. By the way, while we're talking about yes. it, what exactly is a blag? Okay. Um, it's, it's an online journal. Mm -hmm. um, and it can be professional. It can be personal. It can be a mixture of both. 
So if I wants to write all my poetry to all my women, you can do that. All my women's, yes. all my women's out there that needs the poetry. Yes. The poetry from my soul. I can just put it up there, and then they can see that poetry. Right. Awesome. I'm gonna start a blog. <laughs> You're scaring me. <laughs> Not as much as I scare the women. <laughs> so do you per, do you, do you say that something like? Huffington Post is a blog or something like that, or is that more of a website, even though it's built on know, essentially yeah. a blog platform? Yeah, I would um, I would describe it as a, as a collection of blogs, because mm. she's got a lot of people doing, you know, different mm-hmm. different blogs there. Um, something like uh, Daily Beast is more of a website, although I think um, we're, we're pursuing them um, to distribute with, with all the other blog content. Great. Well, we've, obviously, everybody wants us to talk with you about... Mm. Uh, what? Uh, My cooking? <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. So we can make some cookies here. Hey. Oh. <laughs> right. So everybody wants us to talk to you about yeah, your yeah. cooking. You know? like, I mean, the thing is, there's an elephant in the room and on the table, and I think we're going to Russ, talk. I told you I'm on a diet. I'm trying to lose some weight. Will you, please, you know. <laughs> will you please stop with the weight jokes? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Anyways, so the Nook. Everybody uh-huh. yeah. wants to know about the Nook. Yes. Obviously, you know, you know. The I was fir- there. You were there. You were <laughs> there. Oh my God, it was crazy. So my first question about the Nook is, you know, EPUB and the Nook is definitely part of the plan mm-hmm. of of, yes. of of creating a race of super beings. So how does the Nook fit into this plan for humanity? Um, well, that humanity apparently goes to Barnes and Noble for everything they need. Um, Plug. <laughs> 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 No, this, I'm saying this is the, the principle behind it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> because... Never mind. I'm embarrassed again. <laughs> I don't love their clients. I don't oh, oh, okay. It's okay, okay. Um, but, um, I do not! <laughs> um, Violence is never the answer. Especially on Quippy and a hooker hooker. Swearing is the answer. <laughs> 